Hola, eh, ¿cómo están? Mi nombre es Juan José Sáenz Ferreiros. Eh, yo soy de Peruvian Fashion Designer. Estoy colaborando para Nova Salud. I found Nova Salud and I looked at their mission statement as fighting HIV stigma and discrimination. Um, and I really, really like that. And being HIV positive myself, you know, I would want somebody to fight for me. I would want to fight for myself when it comes to HIV stigma and discrimination, which are just wrong. I'd like people to know that there's no shame in checking your status. There's no shame in it. That is the theme of this fashion show. That's our fundraiser, working together to wipe out the stigma. Everyone in here has or knows someone with HIV, statistically speaking, that's almost a certainty. Here to support Nova Salute, the work that we do. HIV has affected me tremendously, you know, through my friends being um, newly diagnosed or having partners or family members who are diagnosed or have been living with HIV, even to my own personal diagnosis of being HIV positive, World AIDS Day of 2011. And so what I've learned from that process is to become empowered, learn more about the virus and continue to spread that awareness and love for individuals who are affected by HIV. Nova Salud has done great work in the community. I mean, from the transgender community, Latinos and Latinas, people of color, African Americans, and just overall people who are affected by HIV. Nova Salud provides that education, um, prevention, advocacy, empowerment as well for individuals. And that's amazing because you don't see a lot of organizations still standing today um, in Northern Virginia that provide such elaborate services. So important to remember to contribute and really contribute to fundraisers and charitable donations because it ensures that these programs and activities and these much needed prevention services are able to still continue throughout the Northern Virginia region. I am HIV positive and I've been living with the virus for now 12 years. Before I got infected, um, I had relatives, close friends, mentors, living with, and in some cases dying from. Um, and then getting diagnosed myself January 29, 2002 was something I did not expect. Again, having people not only pass away from AIDS-related complications, but also at that point, being in the field of HIV prevention for 16 years, I thought I knew everything there was to know, despite my own risks that I had. Just be aware that you can be at risk, no matter what you know, what you think you know. HIV infection is something that we all have to really be vigilant about. I used to have a friend who was infected by HIV and it killed his immune system and eventually he got cancer and passed away. Since then I have been trying to reach out to others because I feel like people do not understand the importance of or the dangers and hazards of HIV. I don't think people take it too seriously. I'm my partner, he actually works for Nova Salute, and so like the past few months I've been volunteering, you know, going to different clubs at night time, you know, getting, getting people to get tested. I love it, it's fun. Yo pienso que todas las personas deberían ponernos no solamente la mano en el corazón, sino un dedo en la frente y pensar que las personas con VIH son personas comunes y corrientes que viven con nosotros, que tienen las mismas oportunidades, los mismos beneficios, las mismas obligaciones. En 2009, my cousin was diagnosed with that and it was so huge for us. Well, we had never had, you know, that happen in the family, so we were like, we don't know what to do, this is new, and everything was just a shock for us. Now it's more easy to to cope with it. HIV has impacted me in a lot of ways. 
one, I don't do drugs, and I'm losing my mom at six years old has like made me such a strong person, and I've like made a lot of different choices because of being more with HIV. I'd rather do things that would make me healthier and you know a stronger person. We all have to be careful of the language that we use. One of the things, as someone living with HIV, that really gets under my skin, that I really don't like, is when someone who is negative says, I'm clean. I'm not dirty. I'm not filthy. I am not disgusting. I'm a person living with HIV. It's a virus. It's a virus that we need to take care of or prevent ourselves from getting. There is no need to use language that reinforces the stigma that keeps us from doing that. We tend to think that individuals living with HIV are weaker. They have these situations that they deserve HIV, but it's far beyond that. HIV affects everyone, regardless of age, race, creed, gender, sexual identity, gender identity. Um, these are all things that are contributing factors because HIV does not discriminate. No discriminemos, porque el día de mañana podemos ver a una persona con VIH, pero uno de nuestros hijos también lo puede tener. I would like people to know that when someone is infected with HIV, don't stigmatize them, don't discriminate against them, don't treat them any differently. They do not need that. What they need is your support. What they need is a strong network to let them know that, hey, you can live your life with HIV. You can live your life every day. Nova Salud, the only organization in Northern Virginia, you know, who's represented, you know, literally, you know, to fight with HIV. So we have to continue. I will have to ask you for your support. Thank you so much for coming.